Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Gina of Gina Renee RN Budgets. I am a zero-based budgeter and Etsy shop owner who utilizes the cash as well as the cashless envelope system to assist me on my journey to financial and debt freedom. If you're new here, I do videos revolving around ways to save money. These videos include budgeting, cash stuffing, couponing, grocery hauls, meal plans, a little bit of vlogging to show you how I utilize my cash envelope system, etc. So if that's the kind of content that you're interested in, then please take a moment, press that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss another video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the reason that I am here. All right, so as you can see today, I'm here with my meal plan. I didn't do a grocery haul because I didn't go to the grocery store and because I'm trying to utilize what I already have. So that being said, I pulled out my inventory to help me kind of come up with a meal plan and that's what we're gonna do today. So I went through my freezer and these are the things that I found. I found some shrimp, some ground beef. I had some salmon, some cube steak. I had some steak for stir fry. I had a big package of chicken wings, a really big frozen lasagna. I have some meatballs, some hamburger patties, chicken patties, pierogies. Probably had more stuff than that, but I try to only write down stuff that I can utilize for dinner because dinners is pretty much the only thing that I meal plan for personally. In, in my fridge, I had all kind of, you know, fresh vegetables, then lettuce, cheese. I got some heavy cream. I have some breakfast meats. I have some lunch meat, some cream cheese. And my pantry is <laughs> fully loaded. <laughs> One day I'll do a pantry tour if you guys are interested. So these are some of the side items that I have available in my pantry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a still shot of this while we work on the meal plan. So I'll have it up on the screen. All right. So looks like I already put one thing down. And this I got already. So we don't need that. So tomorrow I'm going to do... Meatloaf, sorry, I got to turn it this way so I can write. Well, I'll try it. Let me see. Meatloaf, we're going to do mashed potatoes. And I think I'm going to do peas instead of corn, but we'll see. The kids really don't like peas. Me and Kevin do, though. All right, so let's say Monday we'll go ahead and use this salmon and do some honey garlic salmon and some broccoli. I'll probably be able to find some kind of side dish to go with that, but I'm not too worried about it right now. So Tuesdays, y'all know me by now. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> we always have some kind of taco. So we can do shrimp tacos since I got so much shrimp and some Spanish rice and some beans. So I know off the top of my hand, I'm gonna need some green onions to make the sauce, and my shrimp tacos and some avocados. And then I probably need some queso fresco because I use a lot of it, all right? Oh, and some cilantro. All right, so Wednesday, hmm, what can we do? Something real simple. Let's do a tuna casserole. Did I put, I had tuna in there? I think I did. I know I have noodles and I have cheese and I got heavy cream. Yeah, I could do tuna casserole. Thursday, Kevin has chemo, so I probably won't want to cook. So let's do meatball subs that day and some french fries or chips, it doesn't matter. French fries. Friday. Friday, Thursday and, Thursdays and Fridays have been pretty rough for us. 
So I'm going to stick with easy. So I'm going to utilize that frozen lasagna that I have and pair that up with a salad and some bread sticks. All right. Now, Saturday, I think my daddy is coming. So I'm going to make some chicken wings in the afternoon because he may not be here yet. I don't know. And then I'll probably pair that with some dirty rice and green beans. And then if my dad comes, he's gonna buy some lobster tails for me to cook and probably have a baked potato and maybe, I don't know, asparagus. I don't know if my daddy eats asparagus though. But we'll need baking potatoes and we'll need asparagus. Everything else we got, I might need some provolone cheese for the meatballs subs. Oh, and I need the, the rolls for the subs. Mm -hmm. Let's see, shrimp tacos, I wrote down what I needed. Honey garlic salmon, I don't need anything. Got broccoli. The meatloaf, I don't need anything. Lasagna is pretty cut and dry. I might get some salad mix and bread sticks. So this is how I do it. Instead of going the opposite way and making out a grocery list, I go through and utilize what I have. And then what I'm doing over here is just adding in the little, you know, items that I'll need to complete these meals. So instead of me having to go to the store now and do a huge grocery haul, all I have to do is go get this little list here. And honestly, this one I'm going to get probably costs about 30 bucks at best. And that'll be my grocery haul. I always keep bread, milk, eggs, that kind of stuff. It's all full. I don't need to get any of that. I keep cereal. I keep chips. I keep lunch meat. I keep peanut butter and jelly. You know, those are all types of things that they'll eat for lunches. And then we always have breakfast food, pancakes, waffles, eggs, bacon, sausage, bagels, stuff like that we already had. A lot of times my daughter goes and gets that stuff because that's the kind of stuff that they like to have. But we all, we don't separate our food here. We just, everybody just eats whatever anybody buys. So this is the way that I utilize. This is on my Etsy shop. I have a full budget kit that includes this, but I did make a listing of this item only, the inventory, along with the actual meal plan, okay? You can get just these two sheets of paper. It is a printable. So you can print it off, laminate it, and just erase it or whatever. If you don't have a printer or a laminator, I can do it for you, but you have to notate that because there is a print, laminate, and ship fee listed on Etsy, and I'll mail it to you. All right? So hopefully next week I'm going to have some new items added to the shop. Major, major key, okay? So be on the lookout. Turn on your notification bell because I always share it here on YouTube first. Again, you guys, I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you for joining in for another video. And if you guys want, join me with this pantry challenge. I know Aaron Lynn is doing it too over on Without Limits Budgets. So if you guys want to join in and try to use what you have before you run to the store, Leave a comment down below if you're interested in joining us. I might even put together some kind of a tracker challenge form, maybe. We'll see. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you guys would be interested in. As always, I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. Bye for now.